Thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of the Miner, and I'll be showing you the settings I use on Windows 10 for my mining rigs. So let's check this out. Okay, now I do want to mention that I'm not only doing this for you, the viewers, but for helping myself as well. Instead of Google searching everything, I can just come to this video and install all the programs I need, just in case I do need to do a clean install of Windows 10 and make sure I don't forget anything. So for example, if something happens to your mining rig, like lose hash rates, won't recognize any GPUs, etc., you can't figure out for any reason, it may be easier just to do a clean install of Windows 10 and start fresh. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is update your BIOS on your motherboard, if needed. Now, uh, you do want to update it to the most recent BIOS or a mining BIOS. For example, the Gigabyte motherboards have mining BIOSes, which are better to use. Um, and then you can also do other optional stuff in the BIOS, uh, like uh, turning on auto power on once your motherboard receives power, which is useful to have as well. Now, of course, you do want to get Windows 10 on a USB and um, install it on either your SSD or hard drive. I um, mean, just go ahead and Google it, how to do all of that, because uh, it'll take a long time if I explain that in this video, but there are a lot of examples out there already. Now, I do want to mention you don't have to have an activated version of Windows 10 you can use a unactivated version of Windows 10 for your mining rig. Okay, so once you install Windows 10, you're pretty much gonna have a blank screen like this. What you first wanna do is install your drivers. So if you use NVIDIA, go to their website. And like I mentioned, I have all the links below. Or in, of course, if you use AMD, you can go to their website. Or now some people, get better results using the blockchain drivers so it's up to you um that being said now for your overclock softwares now a lot of people use msi afterburner which is a great tool uh, it's very easy to use but now i personally use either nvidia inspector and nvidia profile inspector for my video cards or overdrive and tool for my amd cards and of course, if you do use uh, AMD and if you do bio mod your cards, you do need to get the pixel patcher. Uh, so the BIOS will work and you can download it right here. And then you, of course, you can uninstall any other useless programs if you like. And the easiest way is just search uninstall. And then it will be right here, add or remove programs. And then you can uninstall useless programs if you like. Okay, so once you install the necessary programs and drivers, what you want to do is now adjust your Windows 10 settings. So first you want to adjust the power and sleep settings. So the easiest way is go ahead and just go search it in Cortana. So power and sleep settings right here. Go ahead and change both of these to never, the screen and the sleep to never, never. Exit out here. And then what you want to do is go ahead and go to your advanced system settings. So let's go ahead and search it one more time. Advanced system settings. You want to then click on advanced performance and then settings right here. And you want to go ahead and under visual effects, adjust for best in performance. Go ahead and click apply. Then go to your advanced tab. Under virtual memory, go ahead and change this. Uncheck this box. Click on custom size. Go ahead and adjust this to 30,000. Now, recommend is at least 20,000, but depending on how big your uh, hard drive is or your SSD, uh, you can of course put more. You want to go ahead and set it, and then hit OK then click apply and then okay. Now what you wanna do is now stop your Windows 10 update. 
Now the best way to do that, first what you want to do is go ahead and search services. This will pop up. You want to scroll all the way down to Windows Update. You'll see right here, right click it, hit properties. Now if it's already running, go ahead and stop it. Click on startup type, click disable, hit apply, hit OK, go ahead and exit out. OK, so even disabling Windows Update in services, for some reason, Windows Update still happens. Uh, what you want to do is then install this program. It's called ShutUp10. Now, if I click on this link, it will take me to this page. Now, this is the tool I use to stop my Windows 10 update. And so far, it, ha it has been working pretty good. But of course, last but not least, uh, now this is optional, but you can download remote desktop softwares. Uh, now, the two popular ones are Chrome Remote Desktop or TeamViewer. Um, and I do have the link right here for TeamViewer. So you can, of course, install this here. All right, so hopefully this is helpful for some of you folks out there. Now, like I mentioned before, I will have this guide in all the links below. So definitely check that out. And of course, thanks for watching and always happy mind.